All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Salutation, peace, and love to the elect around the four corners of the earth. Today, I'm going to do a lesson on um, the title of the lesson, going to be Despise Not Thou the Chastening of the Lord. And I'm going to start on um, Hebrews, the 12th chapter. And say, Wherefore, seeing. We also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, witnesses. And what is that great cloud of witnesses, man? Going back into all the men of the Lord that came before us, man. You know? Um, all the men of the Lord, you know, starting from Genesis until the end of this book, man. And then, from then time until now, you got the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and they elders, man. You know, so they, they the great cloud of witnesses. You know who, who, because the um, Hebrews the eleventh chapter basically going into faith, man, and had and had on um, the, the elders attained a good report by the faith they kept, man. So, like I said, starting from Genesis all the way to the end of this book and trickling on down to the men of the Lord today, man, they are those great cloud of witnesses that we have to look to, you know, to basically be an example to us of how to how to conduct ourselves, man. You know, say let us lay aside. Every weight in the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Come, man. And that word patience goes into long suffering, man. So we got to run with, 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 with long suffering, man. You know, um, the race that is set before us, man. You know, this ain't no speedy Gonzalez thing, man. It's all about enduring to the end, man. It's all about those who endure to the end. That's, that's who's going to be saved, man. You know? It said, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our, um, of our faith, who the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Right. So that's the number one thing, man. Just keeping your, keeping your mind on Yahweh Shai, man. You know? He the author and finisher of our faith, man. You know? As long as your mind is fixed and stayed on Yahweh Shai, he going to be your strength to get you through whatever you have to go through, man. You know? Um, despising the shame and then sit down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Um, verse 3. For consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Right, man. So... You know, for the elect, that this this is that you know, just keep you like I said, looking to the author and finisher of our faith, man, which is your a shot, man. You know, um, that's what keep you from getting weary and faint in mind, man, because you can't walk this walk on your own, man. You know, I don't think you can go through these um these trials and tribulations on your own, man. You know, um. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise uh, not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Come, man. You know, because we're going to constantly get rebuked by the Lord, man. You know, until... until the end, man. Because what that word chastening goes into, man? Chastity, man. So we have to be purged and purified, man. You know, to be that um, church unblameable, you know, without blame, man. Faultless when you have a shot come back, man. You know, I'm going to get um, I'm gonna get that word um, despised right there. And I'm going to get that word um, I'm going to get that word faint. Strong's G, 3643, Aligoreo, Aligoreo. Aligo, Aligoreo, which means uh, to care little for, to regard likely, to make, make small account. Uh, so this is what it means when it says despise not the chest of the Lord, man. So 
If you get rebuked and chastised about something, man, you know, don't take it little. Don't regard it lightly or make small account of it, man. You know, it's that disesteem. But that's basically the, uh, it, man. You know, to, to take care of little, to take care of little for, to regard lightly, to make small account, man. You know, now I'm going to get that word faint. Strong's G, 1590, Ecluo, Ecluo. Ecluo, e um, which, which means, um, it's a metaphorically, to weaken, relax, or exhaust. Right, man. So, when, when you do get rebuked, man, you don't, don't get, you know, you, 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 you come, you become into a contrite spirit, man, that godless sorrow come upon you, man, you know, but it said, don't, you don't supposed to weaken, relax, or exhaust. It said, to have one's strength relax, to be enfeebled through exhaust, exhaust, exhaustion, to grow weak, to grow weary, to be tired out, to be faint-hearted, man, right. So it said when you don't faint when you rebuked of him, man. You know? Why, man? Because, hey, you going to, until the Lord deliver us, man, we're going to continuously be rebuked. We're going to continually be chastened, man. You know, because we have to be that chaste version, man, when the Lord come back, man. But it said, when it happened, don't faint, man. Because Satan to get on your mind now to try to make you be weak and, 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 and weary, man. But the scripture said, don't do that, man. You know? That's why I said, Keep your mind fixed on the author and the finisher of your faith, man. Knowing only this chastising, because whatever don't kill you, man, gonna make you stronger, man. That's the true saying, man. You know, especially if you believe in these words, man. You know, and you don't take no chastising, uh, you don't despise it, man. You know, um, this is verse 6. I'm gonna read verse 5 again. And ye have forgotten the exhortation. We speak it unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, uh, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? Come, um... I'm gonna get that word chastening right there right quick. See what see what I can get out of it. Strong's G thirty eight oh nine. Paidaya. 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 Um, and this chastening, which means, um, I'm, gonna get some, I'm just going to go into some, de some definition. It say the whole training and education of children, which relates to the cultivation of man and morals, and employs for this purpose, now commands and admonish, 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 admonitions, uh, now reproof, and punishment, it also includes the training and care of the body. Con. Um, say, whatever in adults also cultivates the soul, especially by correcting mistakes and curbing passions. Um, it say, another one is on uh, instruction. Which aims at increasing virtue, man. So that's what all this chastening is for, man. Like it says, training and educating us uh, to cultivate our minds and our morals, you know. Employs for the purpose now, commands and admonitions, you know. It also includes the training and care of the body, man. Right, man. So that's what the chastening do, man, you know. And that's what this word is for, man. For the, for the, for the um, chastening, the elect men, man. You know, um, in the Strong's definitions, it say to tutorage, i.e., educational training by implication, disciplinary correction, chastening, chastisement, and structure, neutral, neutral, neutral. Right, man. You know, I'm going to give a quick precept. Um, 
This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Our scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works, man. So this is who this word is for, man. The man of the Most High. That he that he may be um that he may be perfect, which is going to complete, man. Because your actions never you never gonna be perfect in your actions, man. You only can be perfect towards the love you have one towards another, man. You know, for the brotherhood, man. It said thoroughly furnished unto all good works, man. So that's what all this chastening is for, man, because we know only the elect is gonna receive this word, man. You know, it's used to warn two thirds of our people, let them know they fail in these other nations, man. But we know that the correction and the instruction is for the man of the most high, man, so that he may be thoroughly furnished, man. You know? Um getting back to um Hebrews twelve. Um, verse 7 I'm going to read verse 7 again But it say If you endure chastening The Most High dealings with you as with sons For what son is he Whom the Father chasteneth not Right man So you got to have your You got to set your mind man To endure whatever chastening Come upon you man No matter what man You know Because like Paul said We endure all things For the elect's sakes man So just Hey whatever chastening Come upon you man You know Just endure it man No matter, no matter what it is man just got to set your mind frame and do it, man. And you have a shot, you know. You have a why, you have a shot. Going to strengthen you and bring you through it, man. Um, verse 7 again. If you endure chastening, the most high deal with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastisement, um, whereof... Or Salakia, but if you be without chastisement, whereof are all partakers, then you are bastards and not sons, right? Because that's going into um I get it. That's in that's in Timothy two. You know, and this is Second Timothy chapter two, um, verse five and six. Um, it say, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. Come, the husband, the husbandman that laboreth must be first partakers of the fruits, man. You know, so we gotta, you know, if we're gonna be crowned, we gotta strive lawfully. And then we got to be partakers of the fruits. What's the fruits, man? You know the fruits of the spirit. Long suffering, chastening, joy. You know all it, man. You know, but it's not no one thing. It's balance, man. You know. Um, back in Hebrews 12, uh, verse 8 again. But if you be without chastisement, whereof are, whereof are, what's the like it? Whereof all are partakers. Right, so all are partakers. Then you are bastards and not sons, you know. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits? Come. And live right. Um, let me get a precept to that too. Um This is Psalms chapter um, 118, and I'm going to start at verse 16. It said, the right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do valiantly. Going until you have a shot, man. The art and finisher of our faith. It said, I should not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Come. Going back, in, going back into um, Hebrews um, 
12 and 9, man. When it says you must rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits than live, man. Come. But it's all about enduring that chastening, you know. Um, it's verse 18. The Lord has chastened me sore, but he has not given me over unto death, man. You know, right. So the Lord not going to put, you know, too much on you that you can't bear, man. You know. Um, open to me the gates of righteousness, and I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord, man. Come. You know, but going back to Hebrews 12 and 10, on 12 and 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Come. For they verily, for a few days, chastened us after their own pleasure. But he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness, man. Right. So, going back to the Lord, trying to, that chastisement goes into making you chase and chastity, man. You know, that version going into Revelation, the 14th chapter, man. You know? Um, now, no chastening for the present seeming to be joyous but grievous, right, man? So, no chastening from, from the beginning, it don't seem joyous, man. It seems grievous, man. You know? Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Come, I'm going to get that word exercise right there. Right, man. So you just got to endure whatever whatever um, is brought up on you, man. You know, that like scripture said, man. Lord doing it for your own profit that you might be partakers of his holiness, man. You know? Um, get that word exercise, though. Hebrews 12 and 11. G eleven twenty eight, Gumnazo, Gumnazo, Gumnazo. I'm gonna get the key definition, man, because Esau got some, got something else down here too, man. But it say to exercise vigorously in any way, either the body or the mind, man. So like I said, if you are, if you basically, uh, um, um, nevertheless, afterward it yielded a peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby, man. Come. Um, wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down in the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Come, man. So, like it was going into, the Most High ain't chastising you for his profit, he chastising you for your own profit. So that you might be partakers of their holiness, man. You know, the kingdom, man. Um, that's, that's basically it on there. I'm going to get a couple more precepts and I'm going to close that. This Psalms chapter 94. Um, verse 11 through 13. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Come. Blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth. Right, because you can't stop um, vain thoughts from coming into your mind, man. That's part of this flesh, man. You know, but going back into that chastening, man, where like it's saying, it's educating you, it's, it, it, you know, it's basically purifying your mind and your body, man. You know? Because once you, you know, once you, because everything start on the inside, man. It don't start from outside in, man. You know, that's why the Lord was getting on those wicked Pharisees. It's like they clean the outside of the cup, but the inside of the cup is full of extortions and, and all type of wickedness, man. You know? Um, 
Because that's just where it do, man. Clean you, up, clean you up from the inside out, man. You know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teaches him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Come, on, man. You know? And I'm going to close it out with that, man. You know? But going back into the title of the lesson. Hey, despise not the chest of the Lord, neither faint when thou rebuked of him, man. You know? So if you get if you if you going through any chastening, a chastening do come, you're not going through in that, man. When it comes, your thing is, hey, put the author and the finisher of your faith. Fix your mind on him, you know, because you have a shot. I always praying for the elect, man. You always praying for the elect men, man. But you still have to pray and show your faith in him, man, you know. You know, through his name, man. You know, um, but like I was saying, man. You know, just have to keep the keep keep him keep him. You know, just if you're going through in the chest, and man, or when it do come, man. The number one thing is just pray for that mercy, man. You know, it's pray for that mercy, man. You know, and with that, man, I'm gonna close out, man. You know, but first and foremost, our praises go to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. True name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. You know, um, by Hashem, Rekai Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Salutation, peace, and love to the elect around the four corners of the earth. Lord will. It's an edifying video, man. Because at the end of the day, that's what all, that's what, that's what, that's what all this is for, man. You know, let everything be done for the edification of the body, man. You know, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.